So in this lesson, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at one of the most useful country guitar phrases out there. This is something that I teach all of my private guitar students because of how versatile of a sound you can get out of this one idea. So in the guitar solo you heard at the very front of the video, I'm playing this same basic idea over every chord over and over and over again. The only thing I'm doing differently is I'm adjusting my phrasing or maybe changing one note here or there to disguise the fact that it's basically the same thing over and over and over again. So to start, let's look at the first chord. We're playing over an A. And this lick, first lick that we'll go over, we'll be using that A major pentatonic in around the second fret position. So right around here. And our lick will be dealing with the box shape on the D and G string. Here I will be walking up from the lowest note to the highest note and then doing a whole step bend which targets the major third of the A chord. Keep in mind where the root note is in the box here on the G string, a whole step below our bend. This will come in handy when we start moving everything around to play over chord changes. So it's easy enough, but it doesn't sound particularly country yet. So to get that country sound, we're going to look at holding that bend and adding one note on the B and high E strings. These upper notes will be one of these six notes. And with these notes, I will strike them with my middle finger while the pick handles the bend. So now we have a bunch of different licks that are all coming from the same basic idea. So what we'll look at now is ways to further disguise them. And our first way we're going to do this is by playing them together at the same time. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be using our pick to play the bent note and our middle finger to be playing the upper notes. Like this. Let's take a closer look. Another idea is to use multiple notes to create a melodic line. So here we're going to be playing multiple upper notes while keeping that bent note held. And each time we play one of these upper notes, we're actually going to return and strike the same held bent note over and over again, kind of like this. So let's take an in-depth look here. So here we can play two note lines, or ascending, or play three note lines, or even lines across multiple strings. And lastly, we can try switching up the order of the notes to further disguise our line. So here we're going to be playing the upper note with our middle finger and then doing a pre-bend release on the normal bent note and it'll sound something like this. So now we have a ton of options to play over an A major chord, but this technique is easily movable so we can start playing over chord changes. So what we're going to look at here is taking our A shape here, right, our A major pentatonic, and just moving it up to D, our four chord. And everything works exactly the same here. From every disguise we worked, all, all the upper notes are going to be in the exact same spot, so it's really easy to move everything around. And then to get to that five chord, obviously, we would just move it up another whole step, right? From D up to E. Right? Everything still works exactly the same as we practiced over the A chord. So while this is a very simple way to start playing over chord changes, oftentimes it's better to try to stay in the same basic position of the neck when we switch chords. So to do this, we're actually going to just slide everything down one set of strings. Right, so we were here with our A chord, now we're going to be looking at our 4 chord, D major, and now we can stay in that same 2nd fret position here. So let's move everything down a set of strings here and we'll look at D major. So we'll find our D root note on the B string and build the same group of notes. Right, and so we can do the same little box. Right, and so the only difference why it's not a perfect box is because of the tuning difference from the G string to the B string that shifts everything up one fret. Um, 
So yeah, we can add, and we can also add the same notes on the high E string, right? So we have the same three options of notes up there, and we can do all our same little uh, decorations with those notes. Right, everything works exactly the same way. Um, and then everything here, all we do to get that five chord, we can move everything up a whole step. Right, and everything works exactly the same way once again. So now we can take all those ideas and comfortably move them through a one, four, five country progression. So let's check out that intro solo one last time and we'll end the video by looking at the tab and the solo together and you can figure out all the different ways I'm disguising everything that he did up front. So let's check it out. 